morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Health is easy, friends. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, if, you're, if your body is breaking down at an accelerated pace, please, please, please understand because it's in the body's nature to heal, because it's in the body's nature to renew and regenerate itself. You don't need to be doctored. You don't need a prescription drug. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, there is no prescription drug that can help you reverse the breakdown process. But it doesn't matter because we can do it ourselves and let us show you how easy it can be. We want to, sh- we want to change your life today. We want this to be the greatest day of your life. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, your life can change today. If you know somebody, if you have a friend or a loved one, whose body is breaking down, who has diabetes or osteoporosis or autoimmune disease, who just doesn't feel good. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And that means that it can be reversed. Degenerative disease can be reversed, but it's not in the realm of the pharmacomedical model to reverse anything. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to start a business, if you want to help spread the word about how easy and how important it can be to reverse chronic degenerative, degenerative disease, to add years to your life, to stay out of the doctor's office, to not interface with the medical model, and if you want to make some money at the same time, Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you call 866-735-2470, they can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our skin health products, Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com and take a special long look at the retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, wrinkles, acne, oily skin, if you just want an all-around anti-aging product, retinol 5% gel. Don't be fooled by the silly products that are out there that pretend to have retinol in them. Got, if it has retinol in it, it's going to smell like retinol, it's going to look like retinol, have a yellow color to it, and uh, chances are pretty good you're not going to find any real retinol products, real retinol products that have any more than 1% or so in uh, in them. But if you check out truthtreatments.com, you'll find retinol 5% gel in addition to our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Omega-6 Healing Cream. Never preservatives, never fragrances, no wax, no filler. No oil, no silicon, nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't use or doesn't want. Check them out at truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking about the cell versus the organ versus the tissue. We're talking about inflammation and microinflammation. All of this has to do with the idea of distinctions. Doctors focus on symptoms. They focus on organs. Health is about the cell. This is a major primary distinction. If you want to be healthy, if you're dealing with a health challenge, if you're sick of being on prescription drugs, this is a major distinction that can save your life, certainly can add years to your life. Focus on the cell. Doctors can't do it because the the cell doesn't allow the doctor. The cell rejects the doctor. And because disease is at the level of the cell, there's nothing a doctor can do. Degenerative disease. Doctors focus on the big picture inflammation while health and the lack of health is about the micro-inflammation, the invisible inflammation. Yesterday we said it's, we called it 
inflammaging because it's responsible for the aging process. Degenerative disease is aging. It's just a different kind of aging. It's an accelerated aging. So microinflammation, cell inflammation is inflammaging and it's the kind of inflammation that's associated with our breakdown, with our degeneration. From the journal Public of Library of Science Pathogens, quote, ongoing heightened activity of the immune system, which is inflammation, has been linked to many diseases, including asthma, diabetes, and heart disease. In the aging, immune system healthy responses are weaker and chronic inflammation is common, unquote. You don't see the inflammation, it's not swelling, it's invisible inflammation. And inflammation means attack. Inflammation means the body's protecting itself from something. I don't know how much clearer this can be. This is, this is as clear as it gets. And if we understand the quote, if we understand that immune, quote, immune system healthy, uh, immune system responses are weaker and chronic inflammation is common in the aged and the sick, if we understand this, really understand it, we're, we now know more than our doctor who thinks that restoring our health is about lowering our cholesterol or restoring our health is about uh, making sure our LDL or HDL or TSH or whatever marker they're using is in the right reference range. That's how they do it. They use reference ranges, normal ranges based on statistics, actuarial tables. If we apply the wisdom of this idea that behind all breakdown is inflammation and attack, we'll be free. We will free ourselves from the shackles of the medical tyranny, from our doctor, from the pharmacomedical tyranny that wants us to be its ward, wants us to be its babies, wants to be our daddies. This is what the doctor wants to be, our daddies. That's why I say, my doctor told me, my doctor ordered me, my doctor wants me. Just substitute daddy. My daddy wants me. This is what they want us to think. They want us to think that our doctor is our daddy and that medicine, health is too complicated for us little people that we have to go to the doctor to check out, to, to be checked out. And should, by the way, government's the same way. It's called infantilizing, making you into an infant. That's what it does. It makes us into infants. It infantilizes us, infantilizes us. The president is our daddy. Our doctor is our daddy. This is what the president is. He's the, he's the national daddy, and they're all running to be the, the national daddy. Did you see Sarah Palin yesterday? Oh my goodness. And Donald Trump, oh, that's another story. I wish I had a political show. Holy moly, what a freak show that is. Donald Trump, Sarah Palin, holy moly. Are you kidding me? Two Corinthians. This medical model, it's not just egregious. It's not just twisted. It doesn't just, it doesn't just want our souls. It wants our money, our energy. It wants our will to live while it, it, enriches, our, it enriches itself like a parasitic virus, which it is. The pharmacomedical model is a parasitic virus. Contributes nothing like a parasite, just sucks our blood. I'm talking the pharmacomedical model. It is not our friends. I'm not talking surgery or uh, emergency surgery. I'm not talking about repairing something that's broken. Obviously, that needs to happen. I'm not even talking about antibiotics. Occasionally, those are necessary. But I'm talking about this idea that somehow the medical model can take care of our autoimmune diseases or our, or, or our deficiency diseases or our cancers or our heart diseases. From Benjamin Rush, this, this idea is ancient, not ancient necessarily, well, probably ancient. Uh, Alexander the Great said uh, uh, on his deathbed, I am dying from the hand of too many doctors. It's Alexander the Great, 600 BC or, or 400 BC. Benjamin Rush, 17, uh, 1780. Unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, the time will come when medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship. Think I'm making this up? Am I being hyperbolic? Am I exaggerating? This is Benjamin Rush. He was a doctor, and he also signed the Declaration of Independence. And he called it an under, he said it will become an undercover dictatorship, which it is now, to restrict the art of healing to one class of men. Chiropractors know this. Any alternative practitioner knows they better not diagnose. I know, you, I get letters all the time. I know you can't diagnose because the word is out. Doctors have a monopoly, even though Benjamin Rush warned us against this, warned us about this 300 years ago. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. listening to GCN. 
Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. You can search both both uh, Ben Fuchs archive, Archives and brightsideben.com for topics or particular programs. If you may have missed one or want to review one or direct somebody to a special program, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, you can also do so at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And we'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team if you're interested in starting a business and helping spread the word about the longevity products, about nutritional supplementation, about the power of the human body, about the divine gift of the cell, the divine gift of healing that the cell gives us, and make some money at the same time. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can sign up right from the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. So, Benjamin Rush, Thomas Jefferson, founding fathers, they all warned us about this, about the situation we're confronting now, about the situation we're confronting with the hegemony, the tyranny of the medical model, the government as well, Obamacare. Have you noticed what's happening with prescription drugs, by the way? Have you seen all the new prescription drugs that are out there now? Since Obamacare, do you know that the pharmaceutical companies are set to have a ridiculously banner decade, according to CBS Money Watch? Spending on prescription medicine by U.S. patients may rise 41% to as much as, this is unbelievable, $480 billion by 2018. You know, when we get Obamacare and we get our meds paid for us, there's still sales for the drug company. Somebody's paying for that stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medicaid prescriptions up 25% in states that expanded Medicaid coverage compared to states uh, that didn't, 2.8%. Uh, compared to 2.8% in states that didn't. 25% jump in prescriptions, which are already ridiculously high. Do you think Obamacare is there for the people? Do you think Obamacare is about us? Have you seen these new cancer drugs and hepatitis drugs? They're going for $1,000 a dose. The average American is spending $10,000, nearly $10,000 a year on medical expenses. By far and away, tops in the list of developed countries. Every year it goes up. Every year profits go up. Health spending is now $3 trillion. What? What does that even mean? A trillion, by the way, I mean, I, we hear these numbers all the time now, so it doesn't mean anything. If you take a grain of sand and compare it to an Olympic-sized swilling, swimming, swimming pool, that's a trillion. A trillion is the difference between an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a grain of sand. That's a big number, folks. Health spending, $3 trillion in 2014, and it's not going down, it's going up. And this is all since Obamacare. What do you think, it's an accident? Obamacare is not about the people. It's not about, Obamacare is not about me and you. Yeah, I know if you have something catastrophic, and I believe it in catastrophic insurance. You don't, you don't want to be broken because you got a disease. But this idea that we have to have some insurance companies, we have to uh, be insured for our day-to-day -day health issues, it's obscene. Since the passage of Obamacare, the top 32 executives of uh, the top five insurance companies have reaped in, get this, $484 million in cash compensation and stock options. Half a billion dollars since Obamacare passed two years ago, or, uh, or, or what is it now, five years ago, 2010 it passed. This is craziness, you guys. Watch TV for an hour a night and see all the new drugs that are out there, and they're not different. They're not all that different. There's a, you know, they have a new class of drugs or new dosage form, but they're basically all the same thing. Diabetes is a big one now. Oh, man, they love diabetes. They milk us. They, they just, that's an opportunity to milk us big time. 25 new anti-diabetes drugs have come out since 2012. And have, what's it done for, what happened to our diabetes epidemic? It's done now. It's all better. And we're all cured. And we're all reversing diabetes because of these 25 new anti-diabetes drugs. Do we really need 25 new drugs for a disease caused by eating and sugar? Is any of this going to reverse diabetes? 